vector i represents one mile per hour east and j represents one mile per hour north okay so that's really the x and y coordinates if you just think of it that way so i and j maria is jogging south at 12 miles per hour so she's going this direction so negative j uh, one of the following vectors represents Maria's velocity. Which one? Um, well, the only one that has negative J is choice B, so it has to be B. Four identical glasses are shown below. One is empty, empty. One is one fourth full, one fourth. One is one half full, and one is four fifths full. If the water were to be redistributed equally among the four glasses, what fraction of each glass would we fill? So we're going to divide all these, all four of them, by four. But we need to figure out, well, what, how much do we have so far? So let's get a common denominator. And our common denominator looks like it's going to be 20. So we're going to have 5 twentieths. Actually, let's just do this in the glasses here so we'll see which one is 5 twentieths so this one is 5 twentieths this one is 10 twentieths and this one is 16 twentieths we're going to add those together 5 plus 10 plus 16 is 31 twentieths so total that's how much we have 31 20 and we're going to divide that by 4 and when we divide it by 4, it might be easiest to think of this as 4 over 1, right? So we're going to multiply this one times 1 over 4, 1 over 4, right? So this cancels. Now you have 31 over 80 is how much each glass will have, or choice K. Okay, I really owe us purchasing carpet tiles to cover an area that is eight and one thirds feet wide by 10 feet long. Each carpet tile is 20 inches wide by 20 inches long. What's the minimum number of carpet tiles a real owe must purchase to cover the area? First thing we have to do is convert our feet to inches. So we have eight and one third times 12. So it's 12 inches in a foot, and that gives us 100 inches. And then we have 10 by 12, 10, not 10 by 12, 10 times 12, because we're going to convert to inches, 120. So that's how many total inches we have that will be covered in this area. All right, so we've converted feet to inches. So we want to know how many tiles he needs to cover the whole area. So the whole area, length times width, is 100 inches times 120 inches divided by the number of carpet tile squares we have so 20 by 20 inches is how many that each one will cover not how many squares we have that's what we're looking for so that equals we have 12,000 divided by 400 and 12,000 divided by 400 is 30 so your answer is D the standard XY coordinate plane, a circle with a center at 8, 5 and a radius of 9 coordinate units has which the following equations. So if you are on a TI-84, TI-84 plus calculator, then you can get this in apps conics. It's going to give you the formula for the equation of the circle, also the ellipse, parabola, hyperbola. ACT will frequently ask about either the circle or the ellipse. So the formula, which is nice to commit to memory, h minus x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k are the center, 8 and 5. x minus 8 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals r squared, 9, 9 squared, which equals 81. So we know since it equals 81, it can't be G or J, right? And then we just have to say X minus 8 squared has to be choice F.
We don't have to look at this one. We could. Um, the tricky part with these, if you get them on the ACT, is just paying attention to the positives and negatives. Because if this had been a negative 8, it would become x plus 8 squared. And you have to remember the formula or look it up on your calculator to make sure you're doing it right. It costs $2,500 to administer each YQ test, and it costs $50 to administer each SOUM 77 test. What was the total cost? So if we look, we see that uh, both tests were administered to 1,000 volunteers. This is almost just a reading question, right? So if you have 1,000 volunteers that were administering each test, so we have to do 1,000 times 2,500. That's for the YQ test. And then we have to do um, 1,000 times 50. That's for the SAM 77 test. So this is going to equal 2,500,000. And this is going to equal 50,000. So we add those two together and we get 2,550,000 choice E. What percent of volunteers actually carry YQ77? So the YQ test determines with 100% accuracy whether a human carries YQ77. So we need this positive YQ test because that's 100% accuracy. The SAM77 is less expensive and can sometimes give incorrect results. So we have 590 plus 25, that's this, over 1,000, that's the number of volunteers. So portion over whole equals what percent out of 100? We're just gonna cross multiply and we get 61,500 equals 1,000 X. So X equals 61.5. So there's our answer, choice J. How many volunteers did the SAM 77 test give an incorrect result for? Okay, so we know that the YQ test determines with 100% accuracy. So Everything here is definitely positive, and everything in this column is definitely negative. But these 25 here were given a negative result from SAM 77, even though we know they're positive because this has 100% accuracy, right? 100% accuracy is the YQ test. So 25 were wrong. Everyone in this column, the negative YQ test, were negative, but these 10 were given a positive SAM 77 result. So 10 of those were wrong. So 25 plus 10 is 35. That's an easy math question. It's a difficult reading question. So you've got to, this is a, a tricky one with reading, not tricky with math. So the answer is C. One of the volunteers whose SAM 77 test result was positive will be chosen at random. Okay, so we're choosing one of the SAM 77 volunteers. To the nearest 0.001% or 0.001, what is the probability? So probability is what you want or what you have. Uh, the chosen volunteer does not possess YQ77. So this is a reading question. Again, you have to know that the YQ test determines with 100% accuracy. So we're looking at these 600 individuals, that's what we have, that were given the SAM 77 positive result. 10 of them were actually negative because the YQ test is 100% accurate. So 10 out of 600 is what we have. 10 divided by 600 equals 0 0.017. So your answer is F. Given matrices X and Y, which of the following matrices is X times Y? So this is a one by two, one row, two columns, and a two by one, two rows, one column. I would advocate.
advocate for 100% just putting this in your calculator. If you have a TI-84, then you're going to hit alpha and then zoom, alpha zoom, and just enter your matrices in there. Do one by two and two by one. Enter the information, pay attention to your negatives, and it's going to give you the answer. If you don't do that, you just need to know how to multiply matrices. So A, B times C, D equals A times C plus B times D. So we're going to have then negative 1 times negative 2 plus 0 times, doesn't matter what it is, it's going to be 0 now, negative 1. And that means we're going to have our answer, negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. 0 times negative 1 is 0, so your answer is 2. Whichever way is faster, do it. If you're better at entering um, numbers into your calculator, this is pretty fast. If you do it this way, just pay attention to your negatives. If you'd accidentally done negative 1, if you'd accidentally done negative 2, notice that's an answer. So that's one of the reasons this is a hard question, because you could get confused on your negatives. Answer is D. Regardless of how the graph is oriented, so no matter how you draw it, in the standard XY coordinate plane, no graph in one of the following categories is a vertical line of symmetry. So it's saying, can you create a mirror image? Circle is not a choice, but it's easy to think about a circle. If you can draw a good circle, draw a line right down the middle, you have a mirror image. So it does have a vertical line of symmetry. A line will have a vertical line of symmetry. Just think of it this way, right? A line you draw a line straight through the middle, it's equal on both sides. A square will, you can get it a mirror image of a square. You draw a perfect square, line in the middle, side A equals side B. They look the same. Pentagon as well. So I think of a pentagon as a house. That's a terrible looking house. Let's try that again. So a pentagon as a house. You can draw a line right down the middle, divide the house in half, and side A and B match. Parallelogram, by nature in the word, is parallel. Two sides are equal. So, parallelogram. What is not going to be equal is a scalene triangle because that's where you have all different sides, right? So, no matter how you orient that, you can't get it to be um, a vertical line of symmetry. You cannot have a mirror image. So, your answer is K.